For the needle cricothyrotomy, you will need a large bore needle with angiocath. About 14 gauge will be appropriate. A BVM, an ET tube, a three milliliter syringe, a 10 milliliter syringe filled with saline, and an ET tube connector piece either a 3.0, which will fit in directly to the angiocath, or a 7.0, which will fit in and attach to the three milliliter syringe. So here we have our equipment for the needle pediatric cricothyrotomy that's gonna be used in patients under 10 years of age. So we have our needle three millimeter syringe, and then our larger 10, meter, 10 milliliter syringe filled with saline that'll be used for aspirating and our BVM and our ET tube connector. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your angiocath ready, and then you're going to have the syringe hooked up here. So go ahead and palpate your landmarks. It will be superiorly the thyroid cartilage, inferiorly will be the cricoid cartilage, between there is the cricothyroid membrane. Insert the needle first perpendicularly, aspirating as you're going. Once you get bubbles in the syringe, you know you're in the trachea. Tilt the needle 45 degrees towards the feet. Advance the angiocath, withdraw the needle. At this point, you need to connect the angiocath to the BVM by way of either a 3.0 ET tube connector directly to the angiocath and then from there to the BVM, or you can use the three millimeter syringe and then you can take a 7.0 ET tube connector that fits into the three milliliter syringe and then connect to your ambu bag and then go ahead and ventilate from there.